What's up dudes, Max here, back with more E3 impressions today focusing on Dead or Alive 6 because we got some pretty decent hands-on time with the game, not to mention a somewhat more new build that featured Hayabusa and Hayate that we actually get to show off to you guys featuring new characters that you haven't seen since the trailer. Now, like I said earlier, this is going to be mostly our impressions of what we had from the game. The direct capture feed is coming from DOA6 directly, running at 4K 60fps. So hopefully it looks pretty good on YouTube if you do bump it up to 4K. But at the same time, the audio did have some slight issues because of some minor capture problems. So we were able to get at least the visuals, and uh, this is us talking in the background about it. Hopefully you dudes enjoy, and there'll be definitely more coverage of Dead or Alive 6 in the future. So the biggest change of this one is that the hold system from 5 is still there. It uh, plays like it 5. It plays a lot like with 5. With a whole brand new added mechanic. Yeah, with the special move mechanic. Yeah. And the special move mechanic is attached to a meter. And your character gets meter when, when you're full. You can do like a big combo string. It's sort of like an auto combo. You keep pressing it that you can cash out the damage. However, you can do other things with it. You can actually do forward with the punch button and do a big-ass punching strike, which is that thing you see if characters like, yeah, so, Fatal Rush. They get punched in the face really yeah, so, hard. So they had this thing where, think of it like, it was mapped to, to, to it was like- mapped to the R1 the button. R1. It, it's like having a hard punch. It's not It's not a new punch or kick, it's it's special. Or yes. Called. Uh, I wish it had a better name than just special Yeah, this, button. the button is special, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like it's like you have your punch, kicks, holds, gra uh, punch, kicks, grabs, holds, which are counters. Yes. Uh, on the four face button, and then throw. And, yeah, throws one of them, and then and then you now you have an, another hitting button. Yes. But the hitting button, um, you know, there's a whole meter that's under the life bar. And when it's full, like completely full, you can just mash it, and then you get a, a special auto combo that ends with a special, you know, zoom in punch hit. Yeah. And uh... the only way to counter the special button or the big special hit is with back special. So say, you know, you think someone's about to use, like, you know, the special zoom-in punch thing. Yeah. You can counter that by pressing back, but you gotta have the meter for it. Yeah, so once you have meter, you can get a shit ton of damage, but if the other person has meter, they can essentially stop you yeah. in your tracks. Then this thing seems to have, like, a little bit of startup to it. It's got, like, the the big punch, which doesn't do as much damage, is, like, got, a, got I think, a hits of armor. While there's a new attack, and someone's gonna have to remind me if this was in the previous games, you can essentially press like up with that special button, and your character does like a dive lean in. This yeah. is a universal thing. They lean into the screen or out of the screen, and they just slug the shit out of you. And it's a it's a complete evasion move that stops someone from going for attacks. It can be it can be held, like you can catch it as a hold because it is a mid, but if you land it, they go flying away and it's like get the fuck off me kind of move. I'm like, okay, this is actually kind of fun. You can knock them into the wall and actually get a wall combo after that. Uh, that that's actually a new mechanic. Yeah, there. There is another thing that's on top of this stuff. I think that was down special and up special. Yeah. And it didn't cost any meter. So yeah. largely, it felt like a lot of DOA five. Like I wouldn't even say that the DOA six uh, auto combo is an auto combo because you can't. You just do it at any time. It's more like a super, and your character gets this super that is this big cinematic string. For example. Kasumi does this crazy teleport dive-in thing, yeah. and it gives the other opponent like an opportunity to hit their counter if they have the meter as well. But then they she just smacks them in the end, and you get good damage. Like the the, the super the supers that you get from the big like super combo do, does like 45, 50 percent. Like if you get you land the entire thing, yeah. it does a chunk of damage, but mm, it's slow. No, there's no. I don't think there's a penalty. Like the whole ma it's the whole match. It actually says right in the middle under the counter. It says three way or four way. Yeah. Um. It's like you got to decide that yourselves. Like you know before you start the match. It's not like one person can be doing three way, you know counters. Yeah. One person can do the four way fighting system. It's no. The game is either going to you either you choose before you start the game. Like you want it to be four way fighting or three way fighting. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else mechanically that was in the game. I will say on a presentation level. The game does take moments when critical strikes land to go into like this like slow-mo and they go fucking flying. I'm like, okay, this is uh yeah, this is kind of sick, especially yeah. when you land the new power blow or whatever the heck it is, like the power rush. I, you do you gain meter for taking damage, dealing damage, or both? I think it's both. You gain meter for blocking, um, you gain I, I, it was hard to say exactly what it was. I but was sort of paying attention. I feel you get you, you get more meter for doing You get the most things. for landing attacks. Landing attacks, but yeah. the meter 
built fast. It built, it, yeah, in this, well, this is like the first version of the game. The but build we were playing, there was a lot of meter to use. The meter built fast, and and if I think for pretty much anything, you know, blocking, taking damage, giving damage, but it was. You'd get different amounts of meter. Sure. And the most came from hitting people. Like like usual fighting game yeah. this. Like, it was kind of distributed the way you would expect it to. From the little bit we played, like we had fun. Like we had fun enough where we didn't get a, we got like 30 minutes and then we yeah. we actually came back on the last day and they let us get direct capture on that day. And they're like, oh, you guys came back. I really appreciate it. And they just let us like play the shit out of the game even more. And uh, it was, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the biggest thing of the game is the presentation. Like when you see it looks really good. when you see this shit like running at a good resolution at a good frame rate and the characters are doing all the cool cinematic stuff and yeah. the slow mo shit is kicking in and you get the the counter into the slug and you land a big ass face punch that it zooms in on and that bitch flies into the wall and some assholes grab you and throw you back in and then you get another combo I'm like I'm having fun. I'm having, I'm, I am, I am enjoying myself right now, and uh, it, it helped that Hayabusa and Hayate were in there because, like, you get the sick ass like Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Clan characters, but even the other ones, like, yeah, dude, we there were moments where we would punch either Helena or Kasumi or Zack or anybody, and yeah, they have bruises and scratches on yeah. their face, and they just go, Bleh! and then all this spit and blood goes flying everywhere. I'm like, this is neat. This is neat. Uh, there is battle damage. Uh, for sure. Yeah. Like, Kasumi's costume was getting ripped open. Like, you saw her entire stomach, and there was a big scratch and, like, yeah. gash over it. And she had, like, tears in her in her battle ar 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 armor all over the place. Uh, Helena's pretty sexy. Yeah. There's Hel plenty of... Helena had some amazing hips There's uh There's a lot of, like, ass shots of Helena. Like, you just see all of this and, like, a tiny little underwear thing underneath, so yeah. when she starts when she starts getting into doing all her strikes and stuff, I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm, uh... Elena's yeah, still hella bad. Mood, um... And they even said that Kasumi would have her classic outfit. Right, yeah. Her classic, like, uh, like ninja outfit, so... I, I really didn't notice anything crazy different other than the fact that, yeah, their main costumes are slightly different than what you remember. Well, really, honestly, only Kasumi's. And Kasumi's is kind of like a redesign. Like hers was like one of the one of the. Hayate's newer... also different too. You can, Hayate's different. You can Hayate knock and off. Kasumi were you different. can knock off Hayate's hood, like the actual like big face mask things he's wearing. If you punch him hard enough, that shit comes right off, and you, you see Hayate again. You're like, oh, okay, this is neat. Um, but for the most part, like, I had a, I had a lot of fun. I love the cinematic elements that they're throwing into the game. I love the slow motion bullshit, uh, and the punching stuff and. This, this, they only had two stages, and I really liked the the alleyway stage. I, like I only wish it was a little brighter, but yeah, it was it was kind of like pretty saturated and kind of like heavy in shadow. Yeah. Uh, but you can knock people through like planks of wood and stuff, and they just blast out of that. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy the the crazy bullshit in Dead or Alive Five where you blow up a building and then you fall off the building. They smack onto the floor, and you get a combo after that. I love that shit, and that still seems to be there, which is really cool. Oh, and Jan Lee sweaty got sweaty. Jan Lee. Oh my God! There's sweaty a as fuck. There was Zach an end and of Jan match, and Jan Lee was just like dripping with yeah, sweat all like, over his. The same ass. thing with Zach too. It's just like you literally see drips of sweat yeah. dropping off of their face and stuff. And the same thing with Helena, where she was just you saw you saw drips of sweat just like dropping off Helena's yeah. chin. I was like, whoa, okay, all right. Um, so yeah, all. All the sweaty aspects of the previous games is still there. But I mean, like we're talking, like we we saw the game, and it's so early that you know there were only color changes. There wasn't like there was there, barely anything. There else. wasn't any like big giant fancy costumes that you could choose. Like it enough, was first play two stages. You know the, the the floor build, or rather the, the the build most people got to play was only four characters. Like, yeah. Two stages, like it was early. I uh, uh, or, or at least the build they brought was early. Yes. Like, it, it's. I mean, and it's still. I mean, if it's gonna look even better than that by the time it comes out, which it most likely will. Yeah, uh, you can't. We can't make a. We can't make a. I don't think anyone should be making any judgments or calls on what the game will or won't have based on such an early build of the game. Yeah, and we we got to see the six character build, and the one that other people got to play was only four characters. And yeah. DOA's got like a good chunk ass chunk full of characters, and yeah. that aren't there right now. So yeah, Zach needs the silver alien costume. Um, and I will say, uh, it, and it seemed, because uh, Dead or Alive has really smooth animation in-betweens. And it's always had like a very smooth look to the way yeah. the characters are. This one seemed to, the, the hit effects and everything seemed to be a little bit more impactful. Uh, 
And the, the, the transition between animations was very smooth. Like, when, when Jan Lee goes from like a lunging kick and he comes back and he does all this stuff that he yeah. does with the bouncing around, I'm like, this looks really good. So uh, they might be working on some animation stuff that makes it look even uh, smoother than before. But yeah, very pretty, very crisp ass looking game. It and, was really uh, good. It was one that not, not a lot of people probably saw or played at the show. But it yeah, because it was in the back. Like, it was really, Koei Tecmo it was, did not have a huge booth. It was, it was good. But yeah, I uh, very much looking forward to it. This will probably be the first DOA game that I'll properly really learn how to play and like sit here and just jam on it for like a solid couple of weeks or something like that because the ninja characters look fucking dope, man. Like I really like the way Hayabusa and Hayate look in this one. Uh, and even even some of the female characters look like Tasumi has some sick looking shit. Yeah. Uh, so I am um, I was happier with it than I thought I was going to be, and um, it was fun.